Hennessy's owned by LVMH, um, and Henny Palooza was rocking for a few years, and you know we had gotten a lot of marketing people fired because we were marketing their product better than anyone else. Wow. And a lot of their marketing people refused to bring us into the LVMH building because it would just prove that they didn't know how to do their fucking job. Um, and then I think we had one rep, Benner, correct me if I'm wrong, my manager, Benner, who, you know, big, big Palooza vibes over here. Big Palooza um, vibes. There was one rep that I think tried to bring us into the building, but Hennessy in itself is like a lot of brands, the same stories you've heard from Rockefeller as far as, you know, we want a certain crowd buying our product, but we don't want to be in business with them. Um, was definitely that situation. And I'm not going to put that all in LVMH, but Hennessy, I have no issue saying that's exactly what they said. It was, they, a, it was a little reckless, though, because, Duno, you, know, you will pay to get in. That's what I heard. I and it's unlimited it's Hennessy. Unlimited. Okay. The whole night. Okay, but you could say it was reckless. It wasn't. No, it was cultural. It was, it was, it. It was reckless in a fun drinking. way. There was no fun. Imagine an open bar party. No open place. bar Hennessy. Todd Olive performed, I think, at mm -hmm. that one. No fights, women everywhere, people actually dancing. Like, it wasn't a fucking hold your phone up type of thing. It was a party. And we took that shit around the country. No incidents, no shit on the let out. There was nothing. And Hennessy was still like, nah, we don't want to be, you know, affiliated with that. But we think it's great because it keeps us, like, culturally relevant. So what they and said is And cases? you're buying the shit. So that's when Hovid stepped in and was like, well, let's make this Duce Palooza. Which made all the sense in the world. Because why the wow. fuck are we going to fuck with Hennessy? Like, they wow. don't. And I heard y'all sold like, out the Madison and then Square you get Garden. The and then you get the wow. Rock Nation brunch. Uh, mm -hmm. Proposal. Wow. Yeah. 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 You do that. Yeah. Jay-Z yeah. give you the love. Yeah. You, you got to take that. away from it. Hey. 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 We were business hey. partners. So what do you want from me? Ducey is connected? No, no, no. Don't come here. Ducey, Jay-Z had switched to Ducey. So, so he was like, he's like, Hennessy don't want you? Come on, uh, come on. No, so, 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 so we partnered, partnered with Duce and Rock Nation to then do Duce Palooza. We ended up selling out the Barclay Center as our last show. Holy oh, damn, shit. That's crazy. Have I you ever Duce last night. Yeah. Have, <laughs> hey, <laughs> I, 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 Have you I, thought about hey, bringing hey, it home? Send some over here. We ain't going to propose right. at your brunch, nigga. Right, right. <laughs> hey, did you, did you ever tell? Did you he ever He was like, part of the proposal, <laughs> god damn it. No, hold on. Did you ever He like, set it up? Holy shit. You need to shit on Hove, not me. He was the one that set it up. Hey, no. How did you I can't it? talk about it because the NDAs, but God damn it, I wish I could. Jay set the, the engagement up. How did you How did you talk about how did you talk about Joe? Shout out to Sam. I know she's gonna laugh at this as well. It was such a beautiful day. I wanna know if we have you ever talked about your music with Jay-Z? Like, hey yo, Jay, I do music, bro. You go to shit. <laughs> no, like, no, no, I, I went further and say, yo, I'm trying to produce in your backyard. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> like, how does that um, go? Like, no, no, we, at that point, it was very much all Palooza stuff. So, yeah, that was a whole separate operation. I wasn't blending those two things together. And you also need to know how to manage relationships in that regard. Like, we have a great thing going with Palooza. I'm not going to say, yo, listen to my mixtape in between. Right, right. That's, that's wild. <laughs> like we just Some sold out That's wild. No, niggas do. Yeah, niggas do do that. Do. They yeah, do do that. And then, and then, well, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, and then everything <laughs> go out the window. Okay, so let me ask you. So I heard it took uh, almost five to six years for you to put this album out? Nah, three. Three, okay. Which three is a, a long time. It's a long time. 